Greetings YouTubers, welcome back to another uh, car drawing tutorial. This is another one on rims and wheels, getting it right from the perspective and design. Make sure you check out the other ones on color. This one's just for getting the shape right. All right, so um, let's say, let's talk about the an actual rim, all right? Let's diagram. Sorry, my sketch pad is pre-drawn here, a little broken in. All right, so what is a rim? If you look at a rim, and uh, I would definitely just go to a parking lot and take a look. All right, so a rim is going to be that's the that's the uh, tire there. Sorry, it's really late at night, so my uh, drawing's a little off my A game here. All right, so um, so here's your rim. Uh, now you have to imagine it. What is the rim, right? So it's circle and another circle on this side. Right, so we got two circles, and then in the middle, there's another circle piece, like a little circle nubbin with another circle nubbin inside it, like that, and then five lug nut circle nubbins, maybe less if you have a lame car, it only has four, right? No offense. Um, and then you have to imagine a center line that's going through the middle portion of the rim. And then along this center line, equally spaced out, are some type of spokes that are going into the car, are going into the center hub thingy, right? So if you took a knife and slashed this right down the middle, a rim would look like this, okay? There's the outside, right? And there's a little lip because the inside of a rim goes up just a little bit. Now the tire is going to look is going to go around this portion. All right, so there's our tire. If we're looking at it from the side, and inside is air and magic particle dust and unicorn tears, because that's what's inside every car tire. Um, then here's our center line that we talked about that goes down the middle virtually. And then this middle hub is going to be like right here. And then we also forgot to mention, uh, you know, the brake disc and rotors and pads and all that sort of thing. So they're going to be in here too. Here's the axle, suspension, all that sort of stuff, but we only need to worry about this part, right? And then you got your lug nuts that are, you're not gonna see them here, but they're there. Um, and then we've got these spoke thingies, whatever they are, that are gonna run all up, uh, up and down in some sort of pattern, right? So if you imagine that this is what a rim looks like sliced down the middle from, a, from this kind of view, uh, you can get a feel for how it's supposed to look when you tilt it sideways, right? So if we look at a, a rim now, and we'll just do like a standard five point rim, all right? So we'll make this, make this the outside there, right? And don't worry about the sketchy lines because we'll flip it over and trace it and nobody gets a circle right their first time unless they're totally OCD and then they need to watch another video about their OCD issues. But look, so here's the middle, here's our Little circle part with another hub in the middle, five lug nuts, and then for classic five point pattern, one, two, three, four, five, right? And then you can do whatever you want with these. Um, for this tutorial, we're just going to make them standard bars, right? Like big metal chocolate bars, okay? And then um, we'll go ahead and bring in just for ease of the video so you can see. If we shade that in like this. Then you can start to see it, right? So we've got our middle circle part, five point star, back of the rim. And then behind these five points, we're gonna add the disc, the brakes, right? And then in a future video, we'll talk about shading these and uh, rendering them in chrome and all that sort of thing. I mean, you don't have to draw the five point lugs, but it helps to space it out, right? And, uh, and then we'll just give a hint at an additional line right there. And that's it. So that's that would be our rim, and then it's up to you to nail the shading. But uh, that would be at an angle what your five point rim would look like. All right, so obviously it's a little sloppy here because I just rushed through it, but let's talk about a couple other rim configurations that are 
really popular.